Okay, good morning. Uh, as Tom said, I'm going to do a quick, a quick demonstration of an OPC waste server that is able to expose all the data that it is uh, inside and device description. And the server will, will get this, this, this data from the, the, the device description and populate the nodes, the UA nodes, with the information that it, is, it was able to get from the, from the DD. Uh, before we go to the demonstration, I need to make uh, some little considerations about how the server was designed. What did you, did you have to do to the server to be able to get the DD data and to expose the data to the OPC UA clients? Uh, <coughs> Basically, the work for this demonstration to be able to expose all the, the, the information, we, we took the OPC UA.NET reference implementation and you had to add two little boxes to the server. We had to uh, add uh, each one driver. Each one driver is a field, field bus foundation network driver, so you can look for all the field devices that are in our network. And the other box that you needed to add to the reference server was the EDD server. That is the, 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 the model, the component that's going to give me information, to give me the descriptions about the device that I was able to find, to find in the network. So this is the big picture. We have an uh, OPC ser server, UA server that is able to access this information. And you are going to see a, a basic OPC UA client that's going to access this information and show us some nodes, some objects, and all the device descriptions that are hidden inside the, the device descriptions. You have already seen this picture today. Uh, Nestor showed us this beautiful object model, <laughs> where we have uh, some object types and verbal types that basic, basically defines everything that I need to expose EDD data. I have that he went uh, into a lot of more detail than I'm going at this point, but you have the definitions of uh, blocks and parameters and foundation field bus devices and profile bus devices and how to re represent a parameter and everything that's needed to map the EDD constructs to UA constructs. So after we, we were able to locate the EDD in, in the hard disk, on the computer, we have to make the mapping process that is defined by the uh, in the ideal information model that uh, Nestor told us about. This, this specification does uh, specif specify some mappings between what I need to extract from the EDD and what information from the EDD is going to the UA nodes. How do I populate the nodes attributes with the information from the EDD? Here's just an example. Uh, the, the information model says, whenever you find a field device, just create an object, instantiate a new object, and fill the attributes of this object with information from the ADD. To make it, look, uh, to make it a little clearer, uh, here's an example of how am I supposed to represent uh, a parameter from a function block inside a device. This is a, a, an example of a, a set point parameter. The, the, the information model tells me you have to create a variable to store the parameter value. And here you can see the set point value is a UA variable that's going to hold the parameter value that I'm getting from the field bus network in this case. And what is funny here, it, interesting, are the, 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 the attributes that are in bold. Because these are the attributes that are coming straight from the ADD. The other attributes the server has to define based, based on these UA specifications, but these attributes in both come straight from the DD. The server just access the DD, the DD and fills these attributes in bold with infor the, the information it found there. So for instance, the information model is going to, to tell me uh, how to fill the description attribute for, for a parameter. Just go to the EDD and you have a help string that's located over there. Just take that help string and put, put on the, the description variable. And for the, the, the value, the parameter value, 
Go to DVD again and get the type of the parameter. Then I go to the, the server, the, the, the UA node, and fill the, the type accordingly. So these nodes are interesting because they derive directly from the from DVD. Now we are going to see the the server running. It's more interesting than just a lot of pictures, I guess. <laughs> This is the, uh, a simple OPC way client. It's the client that's uh, supplied by the OPC Foundation. You don't have to, to you don't need a, a specific OPC way client to access the information. All the DD information model is based is based with part three and part five from the UA specification. So we are using the basic constructs. You don't need some special OPC client that knows how to get it, the information. You, don't, you only need to browse for reference from objects to, to, to variables and be able to read attributes from these nodes. What you are, you are seeing right here is a UA object that's representing this field device over here. The, the network driver that I, we added to the reference server is able to locate that, that, that device it gets some information from the device that enables the server to locate the device description. It gets the manufacturer, uh, what is the device revision, what is the, uh, the description revision for the device. With all this information that I was in the network driver supplied me from the, the device, I can locate the description located somewhere in the, in, in the computer. And here, we have some properties and some folders and some variables that the information model tells me that I need to, to create when I create an, uh, a device object. For instance, we have here a property that's telling me uh, <coughs> which, on which field bus this, this device runs. Is it Profibus? Is it Hart? Is it Foundation field bus? So the, 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 the specification tells me, please show this, 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 this information and be sure that people will know in which network this, this device is running. The, the interesting part is when we are going to see, to, to look at the blocks. Uh, <coughs> these are the, the function blocks that are located inside the, the field device. They are also supplied by the field bus driver to me. He, he goes to the device and says, hey, give me all the blocks that you have. All these blocks, how I instantiate these blocks is also defined by the information model. I, I don't know if you remember, but when Nestor showed us the, 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 the block type, all blocks have, have a, a folder inside that block that's called parameter set. The, in, in this folder, we are, you are going to put all the parameters from this block. Okay. At this stage, when I, I, I'm looking for the parameters from the function block, I'm looking in the ADD. I'm not looking in the network of, anymore. The network gave me which device is there and what are the function blocks inside this device. Now I'm getting to the device description. I know which ADD I have to explore. And the, the ADD server, that the second block that I added to the server, is able to give me all the parameters. So now it becomes this interesting because to give me the data type from the parameters, if that parameter is enumerated, for instance, if it is a string, if it is a date time or something. Let me show you a more interesting block. Here we have the, 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 the transducer block. Uh, you don't know to, don't need to know to, to know what's a transducer block from the foundation field bus, but this is a parameter and the information model says create a variable to hold the parameter value. So 